Hi everybody, hope you're well. Thanks for clicking on the channel. So what are we talking about today? Well, I'm going to keep it as brief as I can. I've got this very nice LG OLED TV. It's a 55 inch. I've had it for just over five years now. We are now February 2022. Uh, I think it's the B7 if I'm correct. If it's not, I'll uh, put it up here somewhere as to what model it is. But obviously it's out of warranty. In the last couple of months, I have noticed that the skin tones have become slightly green, shall we say, certainly uh, around the middle of the TV. I am aware uh, with potential burning of all these kind of panels. Uh, and before I had this TV, I did have a plasma um, TV, which is now down in my man cave. We'll have a look at that very shortly. So I am aware of how to look after your panels. So this panel has uh, the automatic setting for uh, the starlight burst that you can have on it, uh, the screen saver. It does its automatic thing. Uh, for pixel refresher, so that's why you should always leave your TV on standby, so it will do it overnight. So I am fully aware of what's going on, but I'm really disappointed that I've got the uh, burn-in that you, I'll show you very shortly when we run through this test, the LG OLED TV burn-in checker test, which I found on YouTube actually. So that's the purpose of this video. I've just sent a letter or an email to uh, LG UK just complaining about the screen. Not sure what they're going to do. Uh, it would be very nice if they just give me a new panel because the back of the panel is just, uh, just modular and I'm happy for myself to just bolt the, uh, the old modular bits on and whack them onto the new panel. I believe a panel is about 250 quid. Again, I'm happy to pay for a new panel and I'm more than happy to uh, change all the modular bits on the back and just pop them onto the new panel. I just wonder what LG are going to do. So if you want to follow me on my journey, because you might be in the same position as me, but I am a little bit disappointed. There we go, you can see the screen save that I have on it. So I'm a little bit disappointed that we've got to the stage with the panel, because I like my, my nice panels, which is why I changed my plasma, which is downstairs to the uh, LG OLED TV. So let's just run the test and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's run the test and you'll notice it straight away on the red. You can see uh, we have uh, breaking news, Netflix, and certainly in the middle there's a big dark patch. And then you have, I guess that's from Netflix up there as well. So very noticeable on the red screen. And I think this is why we're getting the green tinge on the skin tones of people's faces. But yeah, it's, it's not very good, bit disappointed. Uh, as we run through the test, you see some of the other colors are perfectly fine. Uh, I've got a 65 inch, uh, LG OLED TV downstairs in my posh room. We'll have a look at that very shortly. That's two years younger than this panel. Uh, this room where we are now, this is where I tend to live. We have two German Shepherds, one down here and one over there. And rather than then trash downstairs, we stay here. So this panel gets a lot of use, but I don't play games. Uh, me and the wife, uh, we just watch normal TV, Netflix, tend not to watch Sky because we dumped that about uh, four years ago. And we've just got a Humax or Humix box. So we've canceled our Sky subscription. But yeah, I'm just a little bit disappointed in the LG TV. It was 1,500 pounds when I bought it just over five years ago. So not a cheap telly. I know they have come down an awful lot and things have changed, but I'm just really disappointed that we've got to this stage with the panel. See on this, this color here, you can again, you can see the burning and in the center, I'm not sure if the camera's gonna show this, but in the center, we've got that horrible, uh, dirty, uh, center, but yeah, guys, I'm. I just want a new panel, and I'm happy to pay for it. I'll just, um, I will just uh, swap all the modules on the back out. There's a couple of YouTube videos on it. One bloke got electrocuted actually because he didn't make sure that the power module disconnected. But yeah, I'm more than happy for that. If LG just want to send me a panel, uh, either to my local dealer where I got the TV from, or to my home address, I'll, I'll pay the 250 quid and fit it myself. But yeah, just a little bit disappointed. I thought I'd get slightly longer out of the panel. Uh, but you folks uh, may know something a little bit more than myself. I'm not a technically gifted chap. I just like nice things. I have been careful with the panel, uh, not run it at full brightness. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit frustrating. So let's go and have a look at the panel uh, downstairs in the lounge. So here we are folks in my posh lounge, I'm gonna call this. We don't use this room very often as I've got two German Shepherds who get very mucky and I'm not gonna bring them in here and destroy my carpets. So running that same panel test, this panel is two years younger. It's a 65 inch panel and just running the test, we can see that there is no evidence of any form of burning, but this panel doesn't get used as much as the panel we've just had a look at. Uh, notwithstanding that, I'd be really disappointed if I get any burning on this panel, again, because it's not a cheap panel, and neither was the other one that we've just spoken about. Let's snip into my man cave 
and we'll just speak about my old 14 year old Pioneer Plasma, which is still going strong. So let's go and have a look. So behind me folks is my 14 year old Pioneer Plasma TV running that same screen test. And as you can see, it is absolutely rock solid with no burning. Yeah, it's 14 years old. And when I decided to change this TV with the LG OLED TV, I decided not to get rid of it. So I've brought it downstairs into the man cave, put it on the wall behind me, and it's been an amazing TV. And still is, obviously it's only a 1080p, uh, but it's such a great TV, I couldn't bear to get rid of it. But as you can see on this test, uh, there's no burn-in whatsoever. It's just a great TV. So that's it, folks. Just a very quick video. I am slightly disappointed in where I am at with the LG panel. Obviously, I am aware that we do get burn-in, but just a little bit disappointed that I may have to fork out for a new TV. Fingers crossed, though, customer service from LG will be really good, and they'll either give me a, a new panel for free, or they'll just charge me a nominal fee, i.e. 250 quid or thereabouts for me to uh, get a new panel and then I'll just put the bits on the back. Or indeed, they may say your local dealer will uh, fit the module bits uh, to the back of the TV. So uh, there'll be a lot of people out there who may have the same problems as I've had. So I just thought I'd do a little uh, journey story as to whether LG customer service care uh, will be good in my case. So stick around uh, for uh, the next installment in my journey with my LG panel.